Good morning. Um, I thought I'd do a uh, quick video on uh, recalibrating the S meter on the Halicrafters SX42. And I'm going to use the uh, procedure that's uh, inside the uh, owner's manual from uh, 1946. Um, the S meter on this radio, I, it seems to read uh, low, and I think that's how Halicrafters designed it. Um, it is a lot of fun to uh, watch the meter deflect, and it's particularly useful on FM to uh, tune a signal in uh, just right. You have the uh, uh, zeroing uh, range on the right-hand side in red. Let's see if I can show that to you. There you see. Um, and then on the left-hand side are, are readings primarily for uh, AM and shortwave um, in traditional uh, S units and, and dBs uh, over S9. I, I think it goes up to uh, 40 dB. So um, we'll go through the calibration procedure and uh, hope this is uh, helpful. Okay, page 7 of our owner's manual. Uh, and S meter adjustment. Adjustment of the S meter control is performed by varying the knurled knob located on the rear apron of the receiver chassis. This control enables you to properly set the S meter to zero. So we'll take a look at that knob. And there is the knurled knob. Uh, this is a replacement knob. Uh, it's a new potentiometer, new adjustment for the S meter but uh, that's where we're going to uh, do our adjustment. Okay, uh, continuing in the uh, manual instructions, uh, the next step is to advance the sensitivity control to 10, and uh, that will be uh, aligned with the red dot. So let's do that as we bring this up. We'll see our meter go to zero. And they're also calling for the automatic volume control to be on in the on position. That also lines up with the red dot. So next step, we'll take a look at the uh, back of the receiver. All right, the next step uh, is they're calling for us to short the antenna terminal uh, to ground. So we're going to take this handy little clip lead here. It's not very handy. It's a big knob, a uh, big terminal. Let's see what we can do here. I'm going to try to get this alligator clip. It's not easy to do with one hand. We're going to try to get this clip onto this terminal. Okay, and then we're going to bring that to our ground. I've already got a uh, grounded terminal. Okay, so we've taken that and we've uh, run it direct to ground. Next step, we'll go up front. Okay, here's the fun part. Uh, we're up front here and we're watching our uh, S meter. And the next step, um, I'm tuned up here at about 44 megahertz. And they're asking us to um, tune the radio so that we're off station. I, I guarantee there's no stations there right now. Um, they want us to adjust the S meter control until the pointer rests on the left hand zero. So all the way down. All right. So now we're going to go to the back of the receiver and we're going to adjust our, uh, knurled knob. Try to do this one handed. And we're going to watch. Okay, so we've got our antenna hooked back up. 
This is exactly what I was hoping to accomplish, and uh, I've got a weak signal here down on the AM broadcast band. I've got the antenna uh, hooked back up, and you can see the meter is deflecting. I think that's about right. Uh, it's giving me a S4. We'll tune around a little bit, see what it does. Here's a really strong signal. And we're about 15 over 9. Tune up a little more. I'd say that's about right. You, you can see the way the meter deflects. It does it um, as the signal fades and, and grows in strength. And it's just a really cool meter to watch. Uh, the next, next step in this video, I think I'm going to show how to tune a FM station. All right, so we're up on the FM band. I've got my uh, reception mode switched to FM, and we're on uh, about 90 megahertz. Um, but we're we're off signal a little bit, so let's tune this up, and you'll see as we get this meter closer to zero my reception will improve to the point where I basically get that locked in and that works extremely extremely well uh, I have a, uh, a Pioneer SX 780 that has one of these uh, uh, analog meters on it and this seems to work the same way you're basically trying to match that up with zero as close as you can and um, that tells me too that that our calibration was uh, spot on. So uh, this concludes this video. I, ho I hope this was helpful. Um, these are really fun to use receivers and uh, um, they can really get you in touch with uh, kind of the analog way of doing things. So hope you enjoyed it. This might be the, the most important step during uh, calibration. Um, when you're setting that knurled knob, you want your needle buried all the way over to the left.